You know, it's one thing to admire somebody for their talent or maybe even their appearance. However, I think it takes it to an entirely different level to recreate that person you admire in the form of a robot. How are you? What? Hello, I'm Mark One. Today, very happy to talk to you. Okay, I'm not really sure if the creator's intentions were to recreate resemblance is completely obvious. If you ask me, I think the whole thing is, well, it's a little creepy. You know, I mean, what happens when robots finally come alive and start killing the human race, right? I mean, one moment you're running for fear, being shot at by lasers, and then all of a sudden you notice it's a robotic version of Scarlett Johansson. From there, you're not really sure if you should continue running or stop and take a selfie. It's a little confusing. Speaking of confusing, how about the people out there on the interwebs who are somehow surprised by the Oculus Rift collecting data on them? If you don't know, back around two years ago, Facebook purchased Oculus VR for $2 billion. From there, they continued to develop the virtual reality headset, and it's just now becoming a real thing. Now, some people are starting to note that when you install the Oculus Home application that you need for the headset to work on your PC, it adds a separate program that constantly sends data to the Facebook servers. A Reddit user said that it was sending up to seven megabytes of data at one time while the Oculus was not even running. It's really no surprise at all because for one, it's Facebook. They harvest data on people because well, really, it's the business that they're into. That's how they work. And it's how they're worth a billion plus dollars. It's not because they sell Facebook pillows like hotcakes for $1,000 each. For two, if you ever read the privacy policy, it clearly states that they collect information about the games you play, content you consume, apps you use, your GPS location, and even your movements. And even worse, they very, they very clearly say that they will use all of that information for advertisement purposes and will even supply it to third parties. You know, while I was actually typing that, I thought to myself, what would happen if I didn't agree to the privacy policy? I mean, let's just say I went to install the application and I actually read the agreement. Then, rather than blindly clicking agreed, I said to myself, you know what, no. I do not agree to this bullshit and I do not want it on my computer. I bet you're thinking right now that you could just return it, but you're absolutely dead wrong because if you buy an Oculus Rift, you don't just return it because you care about privacy. No, instead you grind your teeth, click I agree and take it up the, <clears throat> well, you deal with it. Rights Corp, a company based out of the US that has been losing money for years who specialize in copyright enforcement. Their entire purpose is to track down pirates and send out fines via either regular or electronic mail. After a few repeat offenses, they throw some threatening letters at the person and then they can also take them to court. Well, as I said, they have not been very profitable. I'm sure there's a number of reasons for this, but the bottom line is they hate piracy and they are looking for new ways to collect on their fines. Their new idea for collecting includes working with the internet providers to lock down somebody's browser until they pay their fines. Now, of course, I assume by locking somebody's browser, they mean some sort of like an ISP provided firewall that sends people to the rights court fine page rather than allowing them to go to the website they're trying to get to. But it's not to worry though, the idea of any ISP would actually go for this is kind of far fetched. I mean, really, if you think about it, if someone lost access to their internet because they allegedly downloaded the latest copy of Deadpool, the backlash would go instantly towards the ISP and not towards rights corp. Still, you should never ever pirate stuff because that's bad and only only bad people do bad things. If you do decide to, however, be smart and use a VPN. Again, don't pirate stuff. I'm, I know that's bad, just don't do it. I'm just saying, if you did do it, you know, there's options for you. Whether you take those options in consideration or follow those options, it's completely up to you. That's it for today. Like and subscribe below. Follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits and have a great day.